Now let us see how to calculate the oxidation number okay, for a specific element in a compound. Okay. So now in this case, like you know, I have given few examples where we will have to calculate the oxidation number of manganese. So that is why I have underlined all this. Okay. So now let us apply all the rules which we have studied and calculate the oxidation number of manganese. Okay. So now we know all alkali metals will have plus 1 charge. Okay. So let potassium, now we know it is plus 1. Okay. Now, we have to calculate manganese, so let us keep this as x okay. and oxygen for all compounds it is taken as minus 2. So, how many oxygens are there? 4 oxygens. So, plus 4 into oxygen is minus 2 and for all compounds the total charge is equal to 0. Right. So, all this rule we have applied. Now, let us calculate what is x now. So, x will be so plus 1 plus x minus 8 equal to 0. So, x will be equal to plus 7. So, the oxidation state of manganese in KMnO4 is plus 7. Now, let us take another example K2MnO4. Okay. So, there are 2 potassium here. Okay. So, each potassium will take a plus 1 charge. So, 2 into plus 1. Okay. Plus we do not know manganese. So, let us keep it as x plus oxygen we know it is minus 2. So, 4 oxygen 4 into minus 2 will be equal to 0. So, in this case so 2 plus x minus 8 equal to 0. So, x will be equal to plus 6. So, in this case that is K2 MnO4 the oxidation state of manganese is plus 6. Now, let us see one more example. MnO4 minus. Now, look at the charge. So, for this compound, the total oxidation state is equal to minus 1, right? So, this rule also we have seen. Now, let us calculate for manganese. So, x plus 4 oxygen, 4 into oxygen is minus 2 will be equal to, now it is not equal to 0 because it is not a neutral molecule, okay? So, it is a charged species and this is equal to minus 1, is equal to minus 1. Okay. So, now x will be in this case, so plus 8 minus 7, sorry minus 1, so x will be equal to plus 7. So, this is how we have to calculate the oxidation state. Let us see few more examples to calculate the oxidation state. So, here in these compounds, we will have to calculate the oxidation number for sulphur. Okay. So, now here first let us take sulfuric acid. So, H2SO4. So, we know 2 hydrogen. So, 2 into oxidation state for hydrogen is plus 1 plus sulphur is X. So, for 4 oxygen, 4 into minus 2 will be equal to 0. So, in this case, if you calculate, S will be equal to plus 6. So, the oxidation number for sulphur here is plus 6. Now, let us see one more example H2S2O7. This is nothing but fuming sulfuric acid or this is also called oleum. Okay. So, now here plus sorry 2 into hydrogen is plus 1 plus here there are 2 sulphur right. So, 2 into X plus 7 oxygen 7 into minus 2 will be equal to 0. So, here 2 plus 2x minus 14 will be equal to 0. So, x here also will be equal to plus 6. Okay. Now, let us see another example H2SO5. First, let us calculate by the conventional method. So, 2 hydrogen. So, 2 into plus 1 plus x plus 5 oxygen 5 into minus 2 will be equal to 0. So, here in this case x will be equal to plus 8. So, which is not correct or which is not possible. Why is that so? Here always the oxidation number for any element cannot exceed the valence electron. Okay? So, now how many valence electron are there for sulphur? We know it is 6 electron. So, it cannot exceed more than 6. So, if we get plus 8 that means the oxidation state is not correct. So, in some cases we will have to go by structure. Okay? So, there are very few structures uh, you, know, you have to know but one of them is this one. Okay? So, as per the structure if you see this is the structure for H2SO5. Okay. So, now you can see from the structure there is a peroxide linkage OO linkage. So, I have already told you in the rules whenever the oxygen is connected by a peroxide linkage 
then oxygen will take uh, oxidation number of minus 1. Okay? So, now let us just substitute the values here. 1 hydrogen here that is plus 1. Here the oxygen will be minus 2. This oxygen again will be minus 2. This oxygen will be again minus 2. Okay? So, now here there is a peroxide linkage. So, each oxygen will take minus 1, minus 1 and this is again plus 1. So, now let us add this up. Okay? So, now sulfur we know this is x. So, plus 1 minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, okay, plus x for sulfur, plus minus 1, sorry, minus 1, then minus 1, plus 1 will be equal to 0. So, if you calculate all this, okay, so let us cancel plus 1, minus 1 here, okay. So, now again plus 1, minus 1 here, so here x will be equal to plus 6. So, as I told you, for some cases, okay, you, sh you will get the clue by calculating the valence uh, electrons. Okay? So, once it is more than valence electron, then that is not correct. You will have to go by structure. Okay? Let us take a similar example here. Na2S2O3. Again, by conventional method, if you have to calculate. So, here 2 sodium. So, 2 into plus 1 plus 2 sulfur. So, 2x. Okay, minus sorry plus 3 into minus 2. Okay. So, if you calculate this one, so let me say 2 plus 2x minus 6 will be equal to 0, right? The total charge is equal to 0. So, in this case, x will be equal to oh, I think it will be plus 2. Okay. So, you know that this is again usually the sulfur value, value is plus 6, okay, but here x is equal to plus 2. Again, this is not correct. Okay? Now, again going by the structure, this is the structure of Na2S2O3. Now, what is happening here? You know sodium is plus 1, oxygen is again minus 2, this oxygen is again minus 2, this oxygen is minus 2, sodium is plus 1. Okay? So, this sulfur we will have to calculate. But this sulfur, you can see one lone pair of electron has been donated to the other sulfur. Okay? So, we will have to calculate only for this sulfur. So, now this sulfur is in the sulfide form which is actually minus 2. Okay? So, now if you add up all these values, okay? so x will be again equal to plus 6. Okay? So, you can see the difference. right? So, as I told you, the uh, value itself will give you the clue that it is not possible and you will have to go by structure.